Hi, this is Bree from My Abiding Home, and I want to give you guys a quick casual update on what we've been up to lately. So I'm going to talk about the couch that I am painting. It's a polyester vintage couch that I picked up for free, and it's been a lot of work to paint. So I want to give you guys an update, and hopefully I'll have that finished and to you guys soon so I can give you guys some tips if you ever want to paint um, an upholstered piece of furniture, then you will know how to do that. I also want to give you guys an update on the new garden area and how that's doing as well as the old garden area that is a pumpkin patch. So follow along with me as I walk you through this casual video of what we've been up to. Welcome to the blog and YouTube channel My Abiding Home. This is a place you can find encouragement and discipleship, wholesome food, family life, natural living, and some DIY. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe to always get my content. So the front is taking a little bit longer just because it's tufted and I have to pull up those pleats to get the paint underneath. And it's been 100 degrees lately. So that is what I have left there. I've got the sides completely done. And the back is completely done. When I say completely done, I mean I still need to sand it and put the um, furniture wax on. Okay, so next I'm going to give you guys an update on the garden. Okay, so now we're over in the new garden area. So I did lose some of my tomato plants. They started to curl up and die but these ones are going strong i have a brandy wine tomato plant and i believe that's an early girl i have jalapenos down here i'm not sure if they'll actually produce this year since i got it in so late i have my holy basil which was going to seed my son and i just picked all the flowers off and harvested some of it this morning i lost that tomato plant and a few seeds that I planted for tomatoes did not sprout. And I think this is a San Marzano tomato plant it's doing well. I do have a couple green tomatoes on. I've only harvested one red tomato, period. But again, I did get my garden in late, so I don't expect to get much. Butternut squash, I have two of them in this bed and it's going crazy. My squash is going crazy over there. Two zucchini plants and a yellow squash. I get a few a day. My cucumbers back there are blossomed, but they have not produced any fruit yet. This is the herb and flower garden. I have some borage that's doing well for the bees there. I like to also be use the leaves in my water. It gives it a cucumber taste. My cosmos have not bloomed yet, but they are looking like they will soon. My chives. I do have zinnias coming up finally. We have onions. I planted some other onions. Green onions and red onions in this bed, but not very many came up and my spinach went to seed. But again, I did get them in late, so I don't expect much. Here I planted carrots and other root vegetables, but I only got a few carrots sprouted, so I'm not gonna yield really any of those right now this year. I'll plant some more in the fall, but right now it's too hot. I did lose this cherry tomato plant to whatever disease, I don't know what disease it has. This tomato plant is doing well. That one's doing well, but they're not yielding fruit yet. My bell pepper plants are looking good, but they're not giving me any fruit yet. I do see some blossoms though, so that's good news. Okay, so I have basil that's starting to go to seed over here. I've been working on picking off the flowers so that it can hopefully keep producing. The rest of my tomatoes are looking kind of gangly and 
These are the ones I mostly started inside, so I'm not sure what happened there, but again, my soil is new, so maybe the soil just needs time to set in. But all in all, I'm, I'm happy to at least get anything from my garden this year, so. Yeah, that is that. I have a pumpkin patch over on the other side. I'll go ahead and show you guys where we're at there. Okay, so this is the old garden area. I planted a couple rows of pumpkins. This here is going to be a winter squash of some sort, probably butternut or acorn. And then those two plants are Jardale pumpkin, so I'm glad I at least got some of those. None of the other seeds I planted, none of the mini pumpkins came up, and none of the nasturtiums. Now, my plan originally was to weed all of that area and make this a big pumpkin patch, but being pregnant and having two toddlers and putting in the new garden area, I just didn't get to it. So next year, hopefully I will. I was gonna plant sweet potatoes here, but we had a pipe burst and I need to get that fixed. By the time I figured that out, it was a little too late. So I might move my raspberries to this section next year. I have some irises there. A strawberry patch is in the back there and I'm hoping it will just take over that whole area. Um, in the next years and then way in the back corner over there are the raspberries they're definitely crowded but I didn't have a lot to work with when I first got my garden going and I had raspberry plants showing up randomly everywhere because of the soil that I got so I will take the extra raspberry plants and plant them either over here or somewhere in the new garden area all right, well, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe so you never miss my content. I make a new video every week on wholesome food, discipleship, family life, natural living, and some DIY along the way. Have a blessed week.